Hi Aries, welcome back to the channel, Aries the Emperor here. I am back with another general reading for all of my Aries collective. If you guys are new here, welcome. This is an all Aries channel for all of my Aries placements. Cross watchers, you are welcome as well. To everyone, just take in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with you and that is okay. Do not force the reading. Thank you to all of you guys who like, subscribe, share, comment, comment, donate, book personal readings, and shop the website. I am currently um, working to get personal readings out. That's why I'm going to do, um, like I said, a few collective readings um, since I haven't been on. A lot of you guys know I was in an accident, so doctor's orders. Um, I'm having, um, I'm not very mobile right now. <laughs> Um, but I am happy to be alive. Let me just say that um, I did start a GoFundMe. Thank you to those who have donated thus far um, to help me back on my road to recovery. Um, and as far as my doctor visits go, okay, during this ooh, rocky time, okay? Um, let's get into it. Let's see what messages come out for you guys. All of my information is in the description box located down below. Um, like I said, I am running a sale. Um, all personal readings and candles are 30% off at this time here. And luckily, I have a little help um, to help me go ahead and, and get everything out for you guys. So let's get into this reading and see what messages come out for you. What's been said about you, Aries? All right, we have the strength card. Uh, not much can hold you down. Um, you somebody of, of great power, um, of somebody with great experience. Um, this is like an angelic figure. You know, you could very well be that. All right, we have the King of Wands. All right, this is Leo energy. You're a king or a queen, Aries, for sure. You know, we all know you're the emperor, okay? It just came out in the last reading. Um, but this is an energy where people, um, they they look to you. They they respect where, they respect your leadership skills. Um, you're somebody who is, um, you, you may have a lot of pull, a lot of resources, a lot of power in some way, shape, or form here, but you don't abuse it. You know, the King of Wands is it's Leo energy. And if it came out in reverse, then that would be somebody that abuses power um, and has terrible leadership skills. But it came up in the in the upright here. So trust yourself, you know, especially, you know, if people trust you to lead them, then you must trust yourself to lead yourself. other messages spirit all right we have the death scorpio energy people could say that you're somebody that don't play um that you're somebody who you don't share a lot of details so people may speculate a lot um this is an energy where you're very careful with what you share with people and how you share it um, you may have had to learn tough lessons dealing with people and trusting them. This could be an energy where people know, you know, once they try and screw you up, there's screw you, um, screw with you there. There's no coming back. Or I guess I meant to say screw you over. We have the hermit. You could be somebody who is, um, like I said, you know, distancing yourself, um, very wise. Um, the hermit is someone who feels like they have a special or a certain calling on their name. Um, this could be how you could be feeling your energy right now, or this could be how other people see you or want to see you grow.
All right, we have the hair of font. You could be somebody that takes your faith very seriously, what you believe in. Um, you could be somebody who has had this, this, it's giving like a miracle type of situation um, that I, you could be a miracle, you know, something that almost could have happened to you that didn't was a miracle is the type of energy that um, I guess how I'm trying to put it here with the Hierophant, um, because the Hierophant is somebody um, of great power as well as the King of Wands, but somebody who is respected in a spiritual type of manner here. Um, it's just like, you know, going to a mosque is a place that is, is um, very sacred. You know, you could be an energy, an entity that is, that carries that same type of sacred type of energy here. Knight of Pentacles. You could be somebody now in life where you're taking your time. You've gotten to a point where, you know, you don't have to rush into things. You know, you can kind of maybe sit back and you, you see things a lot differently. So you're able to pinpoint and make your decisions accordingly here. Um, and those decisions are now um, turning into gold for you, you know, working out for you is how people may see you. All right, we have the Ten of Wands, Leo energy. You could be somebody that people see that works very hard or has had a hard life. You know, you, you've had to get through a lot of tough times and situations. You've had to carry a, a large load. All right, we have the Three of Wands, Sagittarius energy. This is an energy I feel like people may see you as somebody who is adventurous, somebody who is on the go, somebody who, um, you know, you never see sitting still. You know, you're always working on something. Um, you're always planning to go somewhere or um, it's, it's, it's an energy of, you know, you have a certain vision about you. So it could be, you know, when certain things come to you, you feel called and active, um, activated to, to go out and explore them and do them. All right, we have the High Priestess, Pisces Energy. You could be a tarot reader um, or you could just be somebody who is, you know, just starting your spiritual journey. Um, your intuition could be heightening at this time. Um, you could be just going through different phases in your life or just going, you know, through the next phase because she does have all three moon cycles um, in this card with her. And that represents the different phases. We had the moon. All right. People could see you as somebody who's secretive. Um, you can make people insecure. Um, this is an energy where, how do I say this? I feel like this could be unsaid emotions or unsaid feelings. Um, you know, that people may still have about you and, and they're not able to maybe get a hold of you to express that um, or maybe not even able to put the words in sometimes to really tell you how they feel. And this could be enemies that you have as well here because 12th house and Virgo, well, Virgo rules over hidden enemies, okay? Um, 12th house has to do with karmic endings as well. So um, this could very well be people who 
um, it was necessary for you to cut off immediately and not listen to anything else that they had to say. You know, people can be manipulative. You know, you give them an opportunity to run their mouth, you know, um, and you never know what's going to come out of it. You know, people will say whatever to have their way with you, you know, um, to get in good with you and, and have a whole nother reason behind it with this moon energy here. And you could be somebody that's not going for that. Ace of Cups. You know your worth. You're strong in your spirituality. You know, and, and like I mentioned earlier about that miracle energy, the Ace of Cups is that as well here. It's like a, a new beginning here, uh, new eyes, uh, seeing the world through a new lens. You know, it's new love coming in for you, whether it's self-love or from a, an outside figure. The King of Swords, you're somebody who is very strong and in, in mentally um, very strong in your dialect. You could be a strong speaker as well. We have the lovers here. You could be someone who's very loved. Um, you could be someone people never forget you in love. Um, you could be someone, I feel like, where there are people who would like to experience your love, experience you. sun. You could be somebody that brightens people's day. You know, you could be somebody that you should be in the spotlight. You know, you bring the good energy, you know, you're somebody with a very bright aura that people notice, you know, when they see you, when they meet you, when they see you coming. We have the two of wands. You could be an Aries. <laughs> um, this is Aries energy here. Um, but this is just that energy where, you know, you are going to be the one um, that goes out there and puts the fire out, you know, or start the fire type energy here. You know, you are unafraid, unapologetic for who you are, you know, and energies like that are, are ones that go far in the world. You know, sometimes we don't know where we're headed, but we have something that's guiding us and calling us to help us connect the dots. Um, and that's what that Two of Wands energy is. That could be the energy that you are in at this time here. So I'm gonna leave this reading here. All right, hit that like and subscribe button for more messages from me. I'll catch you guys later, ciao.